Hello everybody, it is I, Crystal Flame 360 or if you prefer, just Crystal, and welcome to the small corner of the internet where I just do whatever I feel like doing. In today's video, um, this is a little tutorial that, well, it's not really a tutorial, but it's just more of a kind of how to create memories, how that sort of works, because I don't know about you, but when I was new to this sort of thing, I was quite confused by it since there was a lot of kinks I guess like there's like a bunch of different types there's generic positive negative there's career based there's just like generic kind so because of that I will cover how to create basic positive memories which positive memory seems to be the default I've gathered anyway um, how to turn memories negative career-based memories, maximizing skill memories and fire memories because I knew that, that kind of threw me off at first. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing this in Plague Town, obviously, and I decided to use Alice and Otamus for the example here because why not? So if you don't, if you're not sure how to open a neighborhood, I realize I just forgot to do this. You go into tools, neighborhood, neighborhood browser. I sometimes forget to do that. And I also sometimes forget to say back up first before you do anything. Again, because this is plague town, I don't bother. But you know, you go into the memories by going into the more tab here and then you go into the memories. Don't know what happened to my voice then, but whatever. <laughs> So we wait for it to load, which usually for me it doesn't take too long, but you never know sometimes. And we'll just go all the way to the end here and we'll just create some new memories for her, whether they're sensical or not, because why not? So to create a memory, just like, now I do this just to kind of embed it where I want it. So if you click on any memory here and just click on create new memory here, it'll just create a new one underneath the one you have selected. At least that's how I do it if I want the memory to be in a specific place. And you click on the memory in particular, which usually the default is became friends with unknown um, in terms of a pet. I don't know why that's always the default. So for an idea of what kind of memory cropped up here. We'll make it a positive, I don't know, we'll say she moved into a new house or something like that. So so to do it quickly, I usually just begin typing here and then you find out, moved in. Moved in, memory, reputation, moved in. So you just click on that and then you've got this here. And the owner is usually, you know, who owns this memory, which in this case, it would be Alison. You can either just go into the drop down box and type that in or just type in her name or whatever, or you can just quickly click me and it auto fills to Alison. Now the subject, because it's about Alison herself moving in, the subject would be Alison. Now, because the memory is positive by default, we don't have to do anything with it in terms of that. So what if you want a memory that's about a particular sim? Well, that'd be an easy one. So let's say after she moved in, she met Eva, because I don't think she has a memory of having met Eva. So we'll make a memory of her meeting Eva, I guess. So since it's a met memory, I'll just type in met into here. And there's two types. There's met subject, met pet, and there's met subject, met someone. This is what we're going for here. And you'll see it will say met unknown because we don't have a subject associated yet. So the owner, as we've established, would be Alison, and the sim in question we've decided is going to be Eva. So to make it quicker, I just type in her first name into here, go into the drop down box, and her name is just automatically here. We'll click here, and the memory will just say met Eva Peterson. 
and again because the memory is going to be positive by default we don't have to do anything so how to turn these memories negative well we'll say i don't know she witnessed the death of a random town and he's probably still alive he'll make things more weird for this neighborhood won't it so we'll just create new here and since we want it to be a death memory um and the memory structure will be name of sim died i'll usually just go into the dollar sign and type subject and we just get a bunch of things here so we have two died memories here so we've got general and strong so we'll just make it general so we probably wouldn't have known this person anyway again owner is allison and the sim in question can move out of my way please um sim in question we'll say she witnessed the death of of chester we'll say we'll, we'll say chester Triku because I've got to kind of explain how he left the neighbourhood somehow and if you don't know what actually happened to him I actually just put him in a hat lot in houses bin and moved him to my crystal strange town experiment corruption experiment I said that twice hood so we got the basic of Chester Treek who died but unless we do anything with it the memory will be positive I know isn't that great how this works isn't it so to make it negative we'll go into raw data and then the first line here that says memory is ready to go you just go into here and change the zero to a four and that's it now the memory is negative that's all you've got to do for that one and you can make any memory negative you can change have had a child memory to negative you can change woohoo memories to negative you can even make falling in love memories negative again you can, you can do it with anything um now as for career memories that is definitely one that threw me off at first so so thing is allison doesn't have a job but we can create a narrative in which she had one but lost it okay well, well we'll just pretend that happened okay so in her head she got a job right she's gonna get one in yeah she got a job here and the owner is going to be allison now here you do not put a sim or object you do not put a subject at all you basically go into the raw data and in columns five and six you put a job ID in there. I'm going to put this um, job ID table that I got from Mod The Sims which is how I had to learn how to do this because it just really confused me at first but essentially in five you put in the column five you put the last four digits of the career you want and in the sixth one you put the first four digits we'll just say she got her in politics yeah i gave her a job in science instead it was above show business on the table so yeah so she got a job in science and since it's positive for her we can you know yeah so she got a job in science for a time and then you know she did well she was very good at what she did and so she got a promotion again she's the subject and with the raw data we do the exact same thing I was like typing and something and it went whoop. So if she got a promotion then. Let's say while she was into skilling, maxed out a skill way ahead of her time, let's say. So this is where the new kind of libraries for maximizing skills comes in. So we'll say she maxed out the mechanical here. 
She maximised the, as we established, mechanical skill, let's say. So the owner will still be her, but again, the subject does not get filled in. Actually, it does. I'm being daft here. But we go into object instead of sim. You know what? Because <laughs> it'll be a bit easier for me, I'll change it to maximise the logic skill, since I actually know the name of an object that you can gain logic from, because you've got to know the name of the object, I'm not too familiar with the object's names, we'll change it to logic instead. So, she, she maximised it off of the grand parlour chess table, let's say. And this is what I mean by, I remember the names. And that's it, that's all you do here. That, that's, <laughs> that's how the skill memories works. But then, we've got to explain how she lost those skill points, and although this doesn't happen in normal gameplay, we can say that, you know, a fire scared her, you know? Scared her that bad, she, she lost it all. Um, so, this is where the fire memory comes in, and... Fire. So, owner is... Whoops. Owner is going to be her, and the object is going to be the fire. There we go. And since this was a negative memory for her, we go into here, change that to a four, and now it's negative for poor Alison. And then we can say that she got that unfocused, she lost her job. So, is it I lost my job or just lost my job? I can't remember, I've not really gotten this memory in a while. Yeah, it's I lost my job. So, own it is her, and again, raw data. <laughs> See if I remember it now, off by heart. I don't And again, since the memory is negative, we'll change it to a four. And I just realised that's the pet version of the memory. Oops, it's a bit embarrassing. Um, oops, I think he's just lost my job then. <laughs> uh, good way you spotted that. That would have been a bit embarrassing. Uh, well, it obviously just got fired. You can tell I don't get that memory that often. Um, yeah, go, yeah, 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 it's got fired. It's got fired. Whoops. Yeah, it's got, it's got fired. Uh, uh, I bet you're looking like then going, um, that's like a pet briefcase crystal. What are you doing? So, yeah. That's the basics of how memories work. Again, I'm not even sure if this was really good at all since a lot of it was just me babbling and forgetting how things actually worked but we'll now go into the game and see how these memories go for poor Alison in game. Plague Town is now all loaded and something worth mentioning now is that when I was saving I think Simpy E threw an error at me so I'm not sure if anything's saved now. Um, but we'll just have to see once we enter the house. Again, if it turns out that nothing had saved, then I'm going to be royally annoyed. <laughs> okay, so the moment of truth. Um, I doubt anything even saved. Oh, it all, all right, it did. It did. It did save. Thank God for that. So this was the last memory she had before I started fiddling with it. That sounded so fucking wrong. Before I started messing with her memory. So she moved in. She met Eva, and then Chester died, okay? You can see, it's rightly marked as negative. Then she got... Well, that doesn't show me up or anything, does it? I don't think it did... Well, it did save. Okay, I think I may have put them in the wrong flipping place. I want... I probably did. To be fair, 
I think I did. I put. I think. I think I put what was supposed to be in the first slot in the second slot. So, hmm. Either way, I just do the opposite of what I did in the tutorial. But when I'm when I put like B D four seven in the second slot, it actually goes in five, not six. I, I was an idiot. Um, I got confused. <laughs> to be to to be fair, I'm in a really dopey mood today. But at least this works as intended. This works as intended, and this of course does not work as intended because I messed the order up. Um, yeah, a tutorial where I cock up. <laughs> That's how it works, people. It's how you do it. But no, um, I think I might just put a no in editing saying, uh, do the opposite of me here. Because um, I'm a mess up, obviously. Anyway, cock up aside. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative to some degree. Um... At least I could have used with a video like this when I was getting into trying to add memories to Sims for custom HUDs and things like that. Um, because I was just there like, okay, so this guy got a job in politics, how the heck do I give him a memory in politics? And I can do it, mind you. But I was just looking at the table and my brain just went, okay, first one goes in five. And it doesn't. I don't know, maybe I did do it right. I have no idea. Either way, I got modelled up somewhere, but it's easy to look into what job ideas for what. Um, ideally, you could even compare it to other sims in that career field or something like that. So if, for example, you got a sim who's in the same neighbourhood as Pascal, for example, and you want to give them, like, say that they got a job in science in the past or something, you can copy and paste memories, which I should have shown that off to in retrospect, but, you know, I may end up making a, a revamp of this in the future, because it was just messy. But anyway, either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, and if you want to see more of me just being a dope, I guess, then you can subscribe. Granted though, I'm pretty sure my channel is an acquired taste because even sometimes rewatching myself back, I'm like, oof. But I, re I, re I really suck at advertising. Just either way, do whatever you feel like. That's all I'm gonna say here. So, hope you enjoyed watching. I think I've already said this. Right, okay, before I end up making myself look like a proper dope, more than I already have done, I'll just say... I was gonna say goodbye, but that sounds too final, doesn't it? Um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Got it in the end.